all markets boom and bust. I mean, you look at stocks, bonds, crypto, housing, even tulips. You know, things go up and down and they rise to un unrational levels and, and crash. So uh, because of that, statistically, peop most people are very poor investors. You know, you either need to educate yourself a lot in order to do it yourself or you need to hire a professional. But really, here's why most people are really poor investors. Now, if you look at this, a lot of people are really just speculating and gambling and not truly really investing because so much is tied to emotions. So as the stock market goes up or any market goes up, there becomes this mass hysteria and this fear of missing out, FOMO. What if I don't get in on this? I need to get in on it now. It's so high. You know, back when crypto went up to over $60,000, right? So Bitcoin. So I got to get in, I got to get in, and then it drops to 30, right? Uh, so fear of missing out in the, from this mass hysteria. And then as it drops, there's this fear and there's uncertainty and there's doubt that plays into your decisions. Oh, well, I can't get back in. Oh, I can't get back in. Oh, you know, is, what if it continues to go down? And this roller coaster ride of up and down this mass hysteria to fear and uncertainty and doubt just wreaks havoc in our decisions you know because markets actually move from supply demand and sentiment more than anything else and buy and hold really becomes buy and fold because the timing is horrible because you're making decisions based on emotion and then you just end up repeating this until broke right so what we found is you know markets are irrational they move based on supply and demand and sentiment. You know, you can't even get 10 fundamental uh, investors, experts to agree on the market and what's going on. Uh, economists are wrong more than they're right, way wrong uh, in most cases. And emotions are your worst enemy. You know, there are over 180 known cognitive biases that affect your decisions. And most of these are unconscious um, that you don't, you're not even aware of. So really, the end of the day is if you master your mindset, then you have the ability to master your money and make better decisions.